Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial. This time is about Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. And today I'll show you how to install it and start using it immediately on ComfyUI interface. It's made by Stability AI and you can find it on GitHub. Currently it's still in beta, you can install it on various operating systems. But since I have Windows 11, this process is done automatically. So let's go. Let's start here where I show you how to install Comfy UI and SD3 models. You'll find the link in the description. Scroll down until you find installing. Since I have Windows, I'll click on the direct link download. Then in my D drive, I'll create a folder named Comfy UI. You can give it any name you want. Save that zip file inside that folder. Go to that folder and wait for it to finish downloading. Then extract the contents of that archive. It might take a while once extracted. Navigate inside the new folder. You can read the readme file for any instructions assuming you have an NVIDIA GPU. Click on the run NVIDIA GPU.bat file. A command window will open where you can see some settings and information about your video card then Comfy UI will be ready. And this is how the interface looks like. I also recommend getting the Comfy UI manager from this page. You can scroll down to the installation section and you'll see it has three steps. I'll copy the text from step number two. And then I'll start with the first step, go to the Comfy UI folder and navigate to the custom notes folder. Then in the address bar, type CMD and press enter. This will open a command window, and that exact folder here you paste the text and press enter. This will use Git to clone that manager into your folder. Once it's ready you can close that window. So, now let's get those stable Diffusion 3 models. You'll need to go to the Hugging Face website. Links provided in the description. Once there, you'll need to log in. If you don't have an account simply click on register just like I'm doing now. You'll be prompted to add your email and choose a password. Click next then enter your username, full name, check the I agree box, and finally create your account. It asks me to confirm that I am human. These catches are getting more interesting. Then you check your email for confirmation and click on the link you received. Once you do that you'll get a message confirming that you are verified. Now on the download page, you need to enter your name, email country and company. You can also choose whether you want to receive email updates. Make sure to check the box that says I acknowledge that the model is for non-commercial use. And then hit the agree button. On the model card tab, you can read more about the models. On the files and versions tab, you can find the models. I recommend getting the SD3 medium model and the second one which includes clits. Download them and place them in the Comfy UI folder. Then go to models then check links. Here you'll place all the stable diffusion models you get from the internet. You'll also need some text encoders. So go to the text encoders folder. Download the clit G model and place it into the models and clit folder. Do the same for the second one, the clit L model, then repeat the process for the last one with FP8. If we go back, you can also find a folder with comfy example workflows. I'll download the first one, the basic one, and I'll create a folder named workflow on my drive. You can place it anywhere you like. While the models are still downloading, you can explore the SD3 demo props to see examples of props you can use. And now that the models are downloaded, I'll go back to the manager and restart a comfy. That will reload Comfy UI.
make sure we have selected the SD3 media model and the three clip model that we have downloaded. All right, everything is looking good. So let's see if it works. Click on the cube prompt button. It takes a little time because it's the first loading of the checkpoint. So it's like all workflow. The first node lets you load a checkpoint, which can be SD3 or SDXL. And on depending on the workflow, SD3 uses these CLID models. Then you have the prompt area where you write your prompts. So, everything worked perfectly, and we got our first stable Diffusion 3 generation. So, let's test the second SD3 model we downloaded. The bigger one with clips included. I'll select it from the list and then generate. Ah, nice image. I will generate it other after checking that the seed is on randomize. We wait a little. I think we can have a better result. So I generate again. Nice pick. I prefer this one. It's more expressive. And following the request of several subscribers, we are going to test some SDXL powerful models on Supier Workflow. I'll put the links to the Supier Video Workflow in the description. I think that we can test the real effectiveness of the model with that workflow because Supier is very powerful. It can take some time. So I will speed the video. Let's see what we have. And this is the result. But I think I don't choose a good proportion for the output to compare. As you can see, the result is good. But let's regenerate with a square resolution for a better compare. Yes, it's not a square format. Reason why the proportions are not the same. Let's fix this by adjusting the width and height in the image size. I'll make it 1024 by 1024 and regenerate. Let's go! So, let's see what we have. I think now it's good. All right. The quality is very good. I really appreciate it. Look at the level of detail with this model, it's incredible. So our first test with Shaker AI model is very good. Let's move to another model. So now, we are going to test with a second model. I think is also a very good one. So, let's change the image. I will take a real women face image this time with details. And make sure to choose the right model that we download. Wildcard XXL Turbo and Cube Prompt. So because the generation with Supier takes some time, I'll directly go to the result. And, let's see how it looked. So now, as you can see, the results with the models downloaded are very powerful. I will then let you browse and make your choices to find your own style with all the models offered. On the next video, I will approach the lighting with Supier. So have fun and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, keep in touch.